Have you also noticed that many cats have a small, saggy belly, especially after being neutered? This phenomenon is not just a matter of age or diet, there's actually much more to it. Find out what's behind the saggy belly after neutering in the following video. The myth of the saggy belly, the so-called saggy belly, is actually a primordial pouch, and many cats, whether neutered or not, have it. This pouch has its own unique charm and piques the curiosity of many cat owners. Moreover, this mysterious pouch is surrounded by a series of myths and misconceptions. Many mistakenly believe that the saggy belly is a sign of overweight or laziness. However, the primordial pouch generally has nothing to do with your cat's fitness. It's simply a characteristic feature that served a real purpose for your domestic cat's wild ancestors. So, the so-called saggy belly is much more than just a quirky trait. It's a piece of evolutionary history that continues to this day. The role of weight gain. One of the most noticeable changes after neutering is your indoor cat's weight. Neutering causes changes in the cat's hormonal balance and metabolism, often leading to a few extra pounds. This additional weight can accentuate the appearance of the primordial pouch, making the little paunch less easy to overlook. Interestingly, this weight gain is often not distributed evenly throughout the whole body, but tends to be more pronounced in the abdominal area. This can be misleading for cat owners because many believe that the primordial pouch is only a result of the extra weight. In reality, this pouch is often present before the weight gain, but becomes more visible due to the extra pounds. Since neutering can also influence your cat's appetite, it's important to adjust their diet to avoid obesity. Hormonal changes. After neutering, the production of sexual hormones decreases. These hormonal changes can affect the cat's body structure and fat distribution. The result? The existing primordial pouch becomes more pronounced or even appears to develop anew. It's fascinating how closely hormones and body structure are intertwined. Hormonal shifts can not only emphasize the primordial pouch, but also influence the cat's general behavior and mood. Understanding these hormonal changes can be helpful for cat owners to better comprehend their furry companion's physical and emotional needs. Therefore, it's advisable to consult a veterinarian after neutering to discuss possible adjustments in the cat's diet or lifestyle. Muscle tone. You may have noticed that your cat has become somewhat sluggish after neutering. This reduced activity, coupled with hormonal changes, can affect muscle tone and connective tissue. Your cat may no longer appear as firm and muscular, and the saggy belly becomes more prominent. This effect is especially noticeable in older cats whose muscle tone naturally diminishes with age. Reduced activity can exacerbate the situation and make the primordial pouch even more prominent. For this reason, it may be wise to encourage your cat to engage in more physical activity, such as interactive play or light exercises. However, if there is a genuine change in muscle tone, it's advisable to consult a veterinarian to rule out other possible health causes. Natural Protection The primordial pouch is not just an aesthetic phenomenon. This loosely hanging pouch of skin serves an important function. It acts as a sort of natural protection for the abdominal area of every cat. In the event of a scuffle, this pouch can help cushion scratches or bites that may occur during conflicts with other animals. This minimizes the risk of injuries and makes your feline friend a bit more resilient. This natural protective mechanism is particularly crucial for outdoor cats that enjoy roaming and have a higher risk of territorial disputes. In the wild, this pouch would have a clear survival function, which is less common in domestic settings but still plays a role for your furry companion. Would you like to know what things besides food can make your cat overweight? Then click on the left image to learn more in our video. Or are you interested in what you must not do if your cat is overweight? Then click on the right image now to watch our video on this topic.